going to spit some knowledge that you don't know. Thanks for tuning in to the show. Being a sports analyst is something I want to do. Now sit back and let me educate you. Yeah, time for Sunday Sports Talk, yeah. Most sports knowledge on YouTube, yeah. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's the Great Patriot here, back again with some more Sunday Sports Talk. Am I uploading this on a Sunday? What? Yeah, I know it's been a while. Last couple weeks, I waited till the game was over, then I just didn't feel like uploading on Sunday, but I decided on myself to become a better YouTuber. I gotta become more organized. That's why if you look on my Twitter page, I released a schedule. I will also put that tweet in the description below, so you guys can know my schedule and everything. And actually, I'm, I might put the schedule in the description, actually. Well, I don't know. Depends how I feel like doing it, but yes. Be sure to always follow me on Twitter, Twitch, PlayStation, all that great stuff. In the background, this is my big man. This was actually yesterday on Saturday night because I'm recording this on Sunday this is my first time playing with my big man I've been creating him he's an 81 overall and look at his stats right now but this fourth quarter he will go off this is the first game I played I didn't record the first part so that's why I didn't want to uh, edit this JRC for you guys but be on the lookout for the second game and I'm trying to tell you look at this shower hair bang but we're not here for this gameplay dog that's just for background we here for the Sunday sports talk now I'm gonna talk about Kobe Bryant's injury I'm also gonna talk about the flake gate yes the Hawks 15 game winning streak and Clay Thompson's 37 point quarter. But what? Hold on. What? Bre breaking news. Breaking news out here. I have to talk about this now. Josh Gordon has just been suspended for a year for a failed drug test yet again, this time for alcohol. Oh my goodness, bruh. This guy just can't. I, I don't understand. Like, is this something that this guy doesn't understand? Like, I'm pretty sure. I put this on Twitter too. I'm pretty sure he's a good guy, but man, like. He must have some demons, or just it's just like he just don't have he just don't care. He really don't think that this could really affect his future. Me right now, like, and this might be quick, but I kind of think they need to cut him. I mean, actually, no, it's not quick. I think they should cut him right now today. They need to cut him right now, so like ASAP. And I don't even think he should be in the NFL for about a couple years. If I was a team, I know the talent is there, but I wouldn't pick him up for like at least a year or something. I will make sure because when he comes back, he's going to be suspended for a year anyway when he gets picked up. So. I think what I would do, I would cut him. He has, he would have to. He basically would have to sit out two years. I wouldn't touch him for a year. I will wait. I will wait like the second year. Like I'll wait like a year after. Make sure he's cleaned up and everything. And then he comes back. He's on that suspension. And then see how he works. But I mean that is on the line. I know today's NFL is all about the win. Now I mean that talent is so great. Maybe a team, if they cut him, I mean, that's something what the Browns are scared of. They're like, we're in win now mode. This guy could potentially be a Hall of Famer. Yes, I said it. He could potentially be a Hall of Famer. That's the talent there. I don't want to compare him to Randy Moss, but I see a lot of, kind of like a lot of Randy Moss in him. A guy, I, I, I don't remember when I seen a guy that big, that fast, and just that much hands, just like, he, he got that go-get-it attitude, he got that you throw it up to take the ball deep, take the top off the defense, that's the kind of mindset he has, he got that go-get-it, go down the line, so, that's what I'm thinking, man, Josh Gordon, man, like, I actually like the guy, people might think that I don't like him, so I'm just out for him, nah, I like the guy, I, just, I hope he does well with some, but he just need to clean your act together, son, Chris Carter went through something similar, and you saw they cut him, and you know, Buddy Ryan, like, everybody was giving him hell. He said, that boy just catches touchdowns. And that's all he could say. He went to the Vikings and, you know, Chris Carter how it is before. But people forget about him with the Eagles. He was good, but he wasn't that great Chris Carter that you know him as the Vikings now. And also because he was doing weed and stuff, he had to keep getting suspended. So I think he needs to get cut, not just for football's sake, but for his own personal life's sake. I think he needs to hit rock bottom. And I mean that for the heart, son. So Josh Gordon, I'm sorry to tell you, son, but I think you can't be in the NFL as of this moment, at this point in time. So... Enough of that. Let's get on to Kobe Bryant's injury, y'all. Uh. Kobe Bryant has torn his rotator cuff. He's out for the year. It was reports that after the All-Star game, he was going to shut it down anyway. And this is just another blow to Kobe Bryant, man. This is the third season in a row that he's going down with the injury, man. I don't I don't know what to do, man. I really don't know what to say about this. Um, this play, well, I just... He has three more years left in him if he can stay healthy. But with all these injuries, I think that he has this one year in L.A. And if he plays, he's out of L.A. Like, I think Kobe just needs to go to another team and just, you know, try to get a ring like that. Like, you know, MJ, would, MJ didn't lead to good Wizards. He was the owner. Then he came out. But I think he just needs to go to another team. He'll always be a Laker in his heart. But I think that's what needs to happen right now ASAP. <sighs> Excuse me. So let's get into this quick stuff real quick. 
Let's talk about the Hawks 15 game win streak. Pretty impressive, y'all. I'm just gonna give a quick my quick thoughts on that. It's the Hawks 15 game win streak. Pretty impressive, y'all, man. Like the Hawks, the Hawks are legit. I'm gonna have to see more playoff time because I know that they're good, but I think they're gonna get to the second round, maybe the uh Easter Conference Finals. But I'm gonna have to see more of that. Jeff Teague is playing excellent. Al Horford, I think he had a minor injury, but he should be back. Paul Millsup, just that whole team, son, and Budenholzer again. Coach of the year already, so I'm already calling it. Did a great job with this team. Klay Thompson dropped 37 points in the third in the third quarter of his 52 uh, point game. Unbelievable, son. Like people say he's the best two guard in the game. I kind of disagree, but like he's up there. You know what I mean? You know he can score. He's a flat out shooter, man. Like he's just a knockdown scorer. Like I can't really put that into words a lot, son. He's just a pure scorer, pure shooter, man. Nine for nine for three. 13 to 13 for the field, son. That is unbelievable, son. That is pretty damn impressive, son. Like that is one of the most impressive things. That that's why that might be one of the best single quarter performances ever. That, like, I mean, that's like top 10, top 20. I gotta really think about that, but that's pretty great. Our on time oppressive scoring list. I mean, I gotta think about that, but right now I'm just gonna say top 20, just because I really gotta think about all the scoring and stuff. But pretty damn impressive. The plate gate. I'm not really gonna talk much on that because I'm sick of tired to talk about it. I've been talking about it on Twitter this whole time, so I'm gonna talk about that and then quick question of the day wrap up real quick. So the plate gate, yes. <sighs> Somebody deflated the balls. I'm gonna come on and say I'm a Patriot fan. Y'all already know, Dar Patriot fan. We going to the Super Bowl. I might record. I'm gonna record the sports talk before the Super Bowl and then depending and then whatever happens for the game, I'm gonna have like a little rant or a little yeah a rant whatever if we win or lose i'm gonna have a rant after the game sometimes so be on the lookout for that but yeah man i think somebody deflated the balls um the footballs i'm, I'm gonna stop saying that because y'all just immature and pause i had to say pause quick but yeah um the equipment manager or somebody they're gonna take the fall for this i mean it's, it's obvious it's the nfl they don't want to hurt their brand if we're gonna get any punishment just a couple picks taken away Nothing too major, you know. Something like, something like. That's all I'm going to have to say on this because I'm sick and tired of hearing it. I'm sick and tired of talking about it. And I just want to get this out of my head. Just want to go. Just uh, this, this is all I got to say about the fight game now. We're on to Seattle. That's all I got to say. We're on to Seattle. But let's get into the question of the day, y'all. I know I'm kind of going about this a little bit fast, but I did talk a lot on Josh Gordon. I wasn't expecting that. But let me get to the question of the day. Now, always, please, please, please vote, 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 retweet, share this. I don't care how to get to Just want, I won't need people to vote. I only have four votes on this, so I need more votes. It was who was the bigger bust between Kwame Brown and Greg Oden. Or who I, who had a rattle on have my team, Curry or Westbrook? I flipped the coin, the Curry and Westbrook one. So, me personally, I'd rather have Russell Westbrook. I like that passion. I like that aggression that Russell Westbrook has. The defensive, even though he takes a lot of shots, I like that, man. I like how we can get the ball to the floor. And I like his killer instinct, you know? Like, he's not scared of anybody. He's willing to do whatever it takes to win you that no will attitude. And like I said, the defense is there, some that athleticism. Everything, son, about Russell Westbrook, son, I love, son, like, that's the kind of guy, like, him and Kevin Garnett, well, in his prime, but those are two kind of guys I love, I don't care if they're yelling, I don't care if they look all this and all that stuff, that's the kind of guys I like, son, so, yeah, man, if I had to pick a point guard, I will pick Westbrook, put down the comment section below, Gario Westbrook, let me know, y'all, I would really like to know what you guys have to choose for that, so, I think that's pretty much it, not too much to really talk about else, the game, the video's ending, that'll be it for this video, y'all, like, subscribe, comment, wipe your feet on the way out, y'all. Be sure to hit that like button again, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends, and I'll check y'all the next time, y'all. Peace. Yeah.